Alright, so hey guys, so in today's video, I will be doing an update on all my true spiders. And I will be trying to feed them, but most of them I don't think will eat. I'll just be showing you guys. But anyways, the first one, and probably my favorite, is my Sicarius terosus, the six-eyed sand spider. This is a adult female. If you haven't spotted her, she's right there. Um, she's been bearing a lot more. When I first got her, she wasn't bearing a lot, but she's been bearing a lot more. And one thing she has been really liking is that fake skull there. I was pretty sure she was going to like and hide in it. One problem is she's a little big for it, so she can fit in there, and she actually has, but it's a little tight for her. So I definitely want to get a larger one for her. But anyways, I'm going to be trying to feed her. So let me get all set up. Alright, so now I have my camera all set up. So I'm going to be dropping a cricket in. Hopefully she will eat for us. Yeah, the one problem with this species of spiders is they'll wait for the cricket to walk like right over them before they strike. She might not be hungry. Yeah, her abdomen is pretty large. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's going. She's doing perfectly fine. She's been eating well. You can see the remains of her last meals. That's what it's like for them. Um, that's what their prey is like. I'll take those out. But normally, those aren't that big of a problem to the spider. But yeah, so it's a shame she didn't eat for us. But she's doing perfectly fine, eating well, happily digging. Um, so let me move on to the next spider. Alright, so here's my next true spider. This is my Alpha Lax, the tiger funnel web spider. Um, she's been really settling in here well. If you can see, she has tons of webbing. And here's one of her entrances, and here's the other right there. Um, but yeah, all the stuff I added in, she uses it, it nicely. And how her webbing works, it goes along the side and then along the back, and then ends there. Um, but yeah, she has a lot of room in the front. These spiders, they are very recluse, so they don't come out a lot. So what I've done to hopefully eventually catch her, capture her outside is on my shelf that I showed you guys in a different video. I have the lights on there, and I have her enclosure on there, mainly because it's a nicer glass enclosures, but also hopefully to catch her outside eventually. But so far I haven't seen her outside, but it's still... It's nice to be able to see the nice enclosure. But yeah, um, I'll see if we can get her to come out. I can see her just behind that leaf, but it might be difficult to get her out. So let's see what happens. Alright, so I just tried to feed her. I'm tr I'm talking quietly so I don't scare her. But I just managed to get her out so you can get a look at her. Uh, you haven't really been able to see her yet. But you can see that nice kind of like bluish, purplish on her legs. And that nice pattern. That tiger pattern on the abdomen or carapace. She's an absolutely gorgeous spider. But yeah. She... Didn't want to eat. She got scared and came out that entrance. But yeah, I'll get the light off her. But yeah, we'll move on to the next true spider. All right, so this is my African trapdoor spider, my African red. Um, yeah, this is definitely my most reclusive spider and my most spider I don't see at all. Um, you can see. Right along here, that's where her burrow is at. Um, I haven't seen her in forever. She hasn't eaten for me in forever. So I'll just 
quickly try put the cricket in there. Normally what I do is I leave it overnight and she'll normally eat it. Yeah, she probably won't eat for us. Uh, this is one spider I definitely eventually want to capture eating because it's amazing how quick they are. But we'll just see. Yeah. All right, but we'll just move on to the next one. She's eating just perfectly fine. The only time she comes out is to poop on the side. You can see here she went all the way up to the top to poop. Um, but yeah. So let me move on to the last and final true spider. All right, here's the last and final true spider. This one will probably be the hardest to film. Um, I have a catch cup ready just in case she does decide to run. But hopefully she doesn't. But this is my H. David Bowie, the Malaysian orange huntsman spider. You saw me do the unboxing for her. Uh, she's been eating very well. She's actually has molted for me and my care. And if you can see, she's still white and fluffy, but her abdomen is starting to get orange. And one thing is also Huntsman are incredibly fast. That's why I'm worried about doing this. But also they grow very fast too. And they can get some long leg spans. Um, Huntsman spiders can be the longest spiders in the world. Not the heaviest by body weight, but the longest. But yeah, so I'm going to try a feeder. What I feed her is pinhead crickets and root flies. I think I'm going to try a pinhead cricket just because it will be easier. But yeah, so let me put the lid on and try a feeder for you guys. Alright, so I'm going to drop the cricket in now. She should jump on it. And the cricket is in. You can just see it right over there. So hopefully she'll see it soon. Alright, so I wasn't able to capture eating the cricket because uh, cricket wasn't working and she was at the top and it was at the bottom. And it just wouldn't climb up. Um, I eventually tried to feed her with the tongs, but then she went bolting out, so I had to capture her so I put the camera down so sorry I wasn't able to capture her eating but at least we were able to see her because I know in the first video you could like barely see her and she's grown more she's still very small but at least it's easier to see her um but anyways that's the end of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like and comment something and if you want to see more, then please subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave the name of the account below, like I always do. Um, and, and on my Instagram account, I only post pictures of my animals. So if you want to see more, then please follow that. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.